determining the strength. The high strength is vital to the center section forging. But there's a potential problem. The fast quenching of a thick section causes the outer regions to cool faster than the interior, establishing a thermal stress field. Compressive on the outside, tensile at the center. Having seen most of the manufacturing processes, we're now in a position to take up the investigation into the crack again. We'll do this in terms of the factors that contribute towards stress corrosion. First, susceptible material. What were the possibilities here with this susceptible material? The final heat treatment after quenching, known as aging, shows an optimal time for maximum strength. However, the stress corrosion resistance against aging displays a minimum. So any attempt to improve stress corrosion resistance by modifying the alloy through heat treatment is done at the expense of strength. We did look at changing the alloy, but unfortunately, as you know, the materials which are less susceptible to stress corrosion have got a lower ultimate strength. So that means that you'd need a, a bigger component to carry the same load? Yes, we'd have had to increase the cross-section area, and unfortunately we're we are designing this to fit in an existing envelope. This would have necessitated changing other components around it, and it would have made the cost very expensive. And tensile stress? We examined the planning cards and found that the forgings had been machined after heat treatment. So when they were quenched during the heat treatment, they were in fact at the, the full section here. That's correct. And this channel was machined out afterwards. Yes. After the heat treatment, internal stresses are in a state of balance. Machining out material after heat treatment upsets this stress distribution. The stress distribution in the section after heat treatment, but before machining, would have looked like this. However, removing a chunk of the forging exposes a tensile stress field. These exposed tensile stresses now act as crack opening stresses along the center of the groove, which was exactly where the original cracks appeared. Now what we do, we, we rough machine to within point one, mm -hmm. then heat treat, and then finish machine. And so, in fact, you're not, dis you're not disturbing the stress distribution that's produced when it's quenched? Correct. And finally, aggressive environment. We looked at the other parameter, which is the atmospheric conditions, and we found that this area was a natural well for condensation. So the steps we took here is to fill this with foam and put a drain hole in the bulkheads. When this forging is assembled to in the aircraft, there is a bulkhead, Oh, right over here. Right mm. over the area, mm. and we put a, a, a drain hole in here so that any moisture which we collected could drain over. So that's a, a case of changing the design to eliminate this, uh, this moisture trap. That's correct. So you've tackled the problem in two ways. You've hopefully changed the residual stresses. That's correct. Reduced those. Yes. And also tried to eliminate, try to eliminate the, the environmental problems. Yes. Um, has it been successful? Yes, it has. If you refer to the stress dime curve, you'll find that the curve becomes asymptotic after about 10 to 12 years at about 7,000 pounds per square inch. So if you can keep the stress below that level, you shouldn't see any cracking? We shouldn't see any uh, cracking. And we have the experience now that Aircraft or forgings have been in service in aircraft from 1967, which is 16 years, and we have had no problems to date. But what about longer term? Is, is the problem likely to recur? Well, uh, uh, we're, as this is a very important forging, we can't be too complacent about this. We have to ensure that if it did occur, we could identify it. So what we have introduced is a defect-free inspection period. We don't look at this forging for 10 years, mm. and then after 10 years, we inspect this at some frequent interval. And this is like any other forging in the aircraft, any other major forging, you don't take a risk with it in the mm. aircraft. So we are monitoring this for any possible future cracking. And so there you are, a problem solved. All the three factors that relate to stress corrosion have been considered. The manufacturing method has been changed to reduce the residual stresses, and there's been some small design change to stop water gathering in that... Can you go, squirt? Also ...itself remains basically unchanged. 
The lessons that were learned on aircraft of this generation were learned the hard way. The current designs, both civil and military experience. Experience in changing materials, in changing designs, and improvements in inspection procedures. And the current design philosophy accepts or from fatigue. But the important thing is that inspection should be such as too serious.